person shooter. I tap the center of the screen and I can zoom. We also have just shake the jump. Oh, wait a minute, there's Tim. Oh. All right, that didn't take long. <laughs> So if you've ever played a first person shooter for the first time, that may have happened to you. Now, our answer to that in Live Fire is a call for help. So thanks to SDK 3.0, I'm just gonna pull up my NG Moco friends list. Now, Neil, who's not only made a lot of first person shooters, he's pretty good at playing them. I'm gonna send him a push notification. I don't care if he's out to lunch right now or he's on stage giving a presentation. Nothing's more important than helping me out right now. So in a moment, uh, Neil should probably join the global server. Hopefully you'll accept my uh, invitation, Neil. And while we're waiting for him, I can also bring up um, one of the other features, which is in-app commerce, and I'm gonna just level up my firepower. There's a lot of items here that I could purchase right now. How about a rocket launcher? Yes. Okay, so now armed with rocket launcher, and uh, there's Neil. Hey, Neil, why don't we uh, try and take the high ground? I've got a wingman with me now. Again, features that really were not possible before SDK 3.0. Now we've got wingman and teammate. We're gonna cruise around, see if we can pin down Tim. Going down. You see him? Oh, wait, he just jumped down here. Come on, down, down, down. I'm going, I'm going. Moving the back, moving the back. All right. So that's a world exclusive first look at Live Fire. We're so excited to bring this exclusively to the App Store later this year. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. You know, NGMoco continues to amaze us both with the quantity of applications they're creating and the quality. And I have no idea how they have the same developers writing both those applications. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. Next is Smule. Smule is the creator of the wildly popular Ocarina music application. Over, uh, users of Ocarina have listened to, listened to each other in over 40 million performances around the world. And I'd like to invite up Dr. Go Wang today to talk to you about a brand new musical instrument they're creating in iPhone 3.0. Dr. Wang. Thank you, Scott. Joining me on stage is David Zhu. I'm Ge. I'm an assistant professor at Stanford University in the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. By the way, that shortens to CCRMA and is pronounced karma. I direct the Stanford Laptop Orchestra, that shortens to Slork, as well as the upcoming Stanford Mobile Phone Orchestra, that shortens to MoFo, but it's spelled with a PH, um, <laughs> featuring all iPhone, iPod touches, and wearable speakers. Leveraging technology with music to change the way we think and do has always been at the core of my mission as a computer music researcher. Driven by that mission and by the immense potential of the iPhone platform, I co-founded Smule in 2008. It's fair to say that without the iPhone and the SDK, there would literally be no Smule today. In November 2008, our team created Ocarina, which transformed the iPhone into a magical flute-like musical instrument, leveraging the physical interactions of breath, multi-touch, and tilt. Ocarina's social features are allowing more than 700,000 users to listen to each other play around the world. Our users have also created more than 1,200 unique musical scores, earning millions of hits on the forums of people trying to learn the ocarina or just trying to learn music for the first time on their iPhone. All of this showing that it is possible to create new types of global communities on this platform virtually overnight. It is our belief that everyone is inherently creative and expressive, and it is our mission at Smule to unlock and encourage that creativity in everyone and to find ways to bring people together in a new type of expressive, mobile, and social medium. For these reasons, we're extremely excited about S iPhone 3.0 SDK, for it enables us to further our vision. Today, we're going to give you a sneak peek of the upcoming Smule application and how we've used the SDK to enable some exciting features. Leaf Trombone World Stage invites everyone to learn a new whimsical, wacky musical instrument and to use that to audition and perform for the world stage in perhaps the world's first massively online social music gaming experience. To give you an idea of the instrument itself, a leaf trombone slide on the right side moves up and down controlling pitch. 
Buttons on the top left shifts the range of the octaves, giving the instrument three full octaves. On the bottom left, a music box accompanies you, while the app gives you hints as to where to position the slide next. All you have to do to play this instrument is to follow along and blow into the microphone at the right times. Using the SDK's game kit, we've actually added a new exciting face-to-face -face feature, Duet Play, which allows two leaf trombonists in close proximity to discover and synchronize with each other over Bluetooth, enabling a multi-part performance. To give you a demo, David and I will perform a little ditty for you. Look for more information on Leaf Trombone World Stage in the coming weeks and for these new exciting new features with iPhone 3.0. This is Phantom of the Opera on Leaf Trombone. How can I go on after that? Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, like, the duet was being played because they're using that connection API to tie those two iPhones right together. Just incredible, incredible. You know, when we created the iPhone SDK, it was to make developers successful. And we work really hard to do that. And it's because of developers, like all of those who showed things today, that we get up in the morning and work our asses off. We, we love it, uh, and we love to see what's coming out of these developers, and we'll keep on doing it. Now, as I'd said earlier, iPhone 3.0 brings a lot of incredible features for developers. It also brings them for our customers. And in fact, iPhone 3.0 has more than 100 new features for our customers. Let me walk you through just a few, starting with cut, copy, and paste. So we have been working really hard to design a easy to use, straightforward user interface for cut, copy, and paste on our large touchscreen display. And we think we've nailed it. Let me go ahead and just demo it for you now. Here's my phone running iPhone 3.0. Now I'll go here, let me launch mail. Let me scroll down a little, and here's a message here from Daniel Vincent. Uh, I guess we're going to some conference in Hawaii. He wants to know what flight I want to take uh, and uh, what I'd like to do there. I'll go ahead and reply to him. And I'll scroll down, and uh, here's how you now select text on the phone. That's it. You double tap onto the text, and it automatically selects that text. So I'd like to fly uh, Oceanic Flight 